What's going on, guys? Cap J. I was going to talk a little bit about the F-150 uh, 5 liter V8 towing capacity and uh, pulling a boat. So I've got the F-150 maxed out up on this towing capacity. This, this truck's rated for 11.6. Um, there's an app you can actually plug your VIN number in and check the tow rating on your specific vehicle. Sometimes it's very difficult to get a straight answer out of a salesman or even a dealership about towing capacities because it's all based on uh, all your extras. You know, it's based on uh, a lot of different things. It's based on your axle ratios. It's based on your, uh, your, your if you get the heavy duty towing package or not, if you get an extended cab, which, which you know, trim model you get. But uh, I'll, I'll put a link below to the actual place where you can go to Ford uh, VIN decoders and you can decode your Ford uh, VIN number. It'll tell you all the details about your specific truck based on the VIN number uh, down to the towing capacity, the max tongue weight, uh, the towing capacity for all different ways of towing, whether you're towing with a fifth, whether you're towing with a fifth wheel or, or a bumper pool or whatever. It's a pretty good little handy tool to have if you're looking at buying a Ford and you're checking out of a, and you're checking out towing capacities because you can you can go to cars.com you can get the VIN number for the vehicle you're looking for, and then you can plug this VIN number into the uh, to the to the app or the, the the website, and it tells you. You don't have to worry about making a phone call and dealing with some salesman or somebody for an hour, you know, trying to get a straight answer. You get all the information in one place, so that's a real handy tool to have. But I'm currently driving down the highway, pulling, uh, pulling an, an, uh, eleven thousand pounds. Uh, see if I can get to, to uh, and that's my towing information, towing only status, tire pressure, uh, fuel economy, that's what you're worried about, fuel economy, 9.7 miles per gallon, that's probably not accurate for right now, so let's reset it, let's see what it does while we're having a conversation, it's going to land around 7, if I had to guess it. Uh, I'm doing about 70 miles an hour, and uh, that's everything it wants. Uh, my boat, you see my boat plugged, plugged in back there. Uh, my boat weighs 11,300 pounds on the on the uh, on the trailer. The trailer weighs 2,500 pounds. I got 1,200 pounds of tongue weight, and I put it on Scat's uh, Cat certified scales, so that's 100 accurate. There, certified scales at a at uh, an exit in, on University Avenue in Lafayette, you want to get your you want to get your boat weight, so you really know what you're dealing with. But uh, I've towed this thing a couple thousand miles already with this F-150, and once you get up to speed, you don't really uh, you don't have to fight with it much. It's not a stressful uh, it's not a stressful trip. You know, some vehicles you know your trailer's pulling you all over the road. It's not the case. This truck does really well. It handles. It handles the load pretty well, as you can see on the Chapala Basin Bridge right now. And uh, Louisiana's roads are terrible, but I do have the airbags installed, the airlift airbags installed. So I've currently got the air pressure set at 85 psi, and so uh, or 80 psi. That's that's really uh, absolutely necessary if you're going to be maxing out your towing capacity on your F-150. You gotta have uh, airbags, otherwise you're gonna just be squatting your, squatting your truck down. And you don't wanna do that. Uh, it's gonna wear out your suspension and you're just gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna kill your drive trains. Uh, I'm not a real truck guy, you know. I just, uh, I'm kind of a boat guy. But you know, if you're a boat guy, you gotta deal with, with pulling your boat. And that's the only time I'm really kind of trying to know a little bit about what's going on with my truck. I'm not a mechanic. Um, captain but that's my two cents f-150 you know 90% of the time I'm, I'm going around town I'm not towing so I don't need an f-250 I'm not towing everywhere I go so I don't want to deal with a big truck this truck is everything that I need you know that 5% or the 10% of the time when I'm towing and the rest of the time I love it oh I absolutely love it so 7.8 that's that's pretty consistent if you get in some real hills you hilly territory you're gonna see worse than that but you see this button down here uh, actually it's right here so if I press that button that's what's gonna pop up there that's my drive mode I 
memento hall running about 3,000 rpms 65 miles an hour um, there it is f-150 maxed out in towing capacity doing great and when i bought the truck i bought it used with 45,000 miles on it it's a 2018 I bought it used with 45,000 miles on it and when i went to sign on it they offered me a hundred thousand mile uh, 10 year, I'm sorry, seven year, 100,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty for 2,500 bucks, 2,700 bucks. And so that was a no brainer. Um, if you guys are considering getting a, getting an F 150 and, and, and maxing out the towing capacity, it's going to be harder on all your components. Might as well go for that extended warranty. That's what I did. That way I don't have to worry about it. You know, it's going to be a little harder on the components. That's what I got the truck for. So if you guys uh, enjoy this video, Hit a like, comment below. Appreciate you stopping by. Y'all stay tuned. I'm going to try to give y'all uh, all that little information that I could use when I was making all these decisions. You know, I bought a $35,000 truck on a hope that it'll pull my boat. And it's doing great. F-150, I love it. Probably the last truck I'll ever own. I mean, I'm going to get the new one, but I'm still with the F-150. I love this truck. And they coming out with a, the new one has a 7.3 KW generator on board. Oh my God, if I was rich, I'd have that truck tomorrow. But I got the peasant model. You can check out Colt's way. He's, uh, he's got the peasant model F-250. Talk to you later. Hey, good morning, Captain Jake here. Uh, I was gonna do a quick video, how to use your GoPro for a backup camera. I've got a GoPro 8. Uh, I'll put a link to it in the description. You can check it out. But uh, here it is. I've just gone to the settings, went to preferences, went to connections, tapped on, uh, uh, let's see. Connected device, GoPro app, Hero 8 Black. My camera is on. Continue. Connect camera. Pair. So I'm going to show you uh, what I'm dealing with here. Um, I've got this 31 foot boat. I'm going to try to back out. But it's a one way road. And I don't. I have enough room to turn around. So what I was thinking about doing, I know which way I want to go when I back out. So if I can put my GoPro, I can put my GoPro right here. Um, then I'll be able to see uh, what the traffic situation is like behind me. Let's see if it actually works out. That's actually not bad at all. That worked out great. So I'm going to use this camera as my backup camera. And I really just wanted to get out into traffic with it. Because I knew my wife was going to be sleeping. And I was going to be on my own this morning to launch the boat. So here goes. Let's see. Now I'm trying to film and back up the boat. The cleanest, friendliest lip No, thank you. Okay. I wish I had a cameraman. I'd make this video so much better for you guys. One of these days I will. Let me put you way over here so you can see. All right. So now. No, I don't have enough room to back out over there. But I have to go and see. It's just... 
I know I don't have enough room to turn around up here, but even though I want to make a video, it'd still be so much nicer to turn around. Use this at the ramp. Hey, I found a different way out. It looks like a dead end, but it wasn't a dead end. So I'm gonna use this at the ramp. And uh does it tell me the GoPro battery? Yeah, I got some left. So I'll see you at the ramp. So there actually wasn't a way out down here. I just came to a, a, a dead end. It was just a, a little further than I thought. So now I'm having to turn around in a cul-de-sac, a 30-foot boat. I like to say 30-foot boat. Uh -huh. Yeah, we know it's 30 foot, dude. We know you got a big boat. Shut up about it, man. We just want to see your backup camera. Focus on backup camera. Talk. Not reminding everybody about your boat. <laughs> Sorry. So is it working? Seems like it's working. I'll tell you what, I'd already gone back there and check a couple times if I didn't have it. I am up in the bushes on the left side. Let's see if I can see that. I can see that in my cameras right here. So between now I'm gonna make I'm gonna finish making this turn a bit. So I've got this camera to watch my now I'm really pushing it here. Because what you what you're gonna do when you start to uh, make sharp turns on the triple axle trailer, is you're gonna start trying to pull your uh, your tires off your rims. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Because uh, it basically the trailer is trying to pivot on the tire in the middle, and the ones on the sides are getting pulled to one side or the other, depending on the turn radius. So it turns into a big. Uh, Kind of a situation back there on your on your rubber. Just trying to pull your. So if you've ever backed up into a gas station or you're pulled up, pulled forward, and you kind of look back and your tires look all like left-handed or right-handed, like kind of hanging out. Oops. All right, this video's uh, not awesome, but it's, it, it it demonstrates. Look. See, I, I don't have like a real firm fit on my um, my rod holder, but that little uh, which, you know selfie stick, and so I'm either gonna have to wrap a rag around it so it doesn't spin, or get a bigger selfie stick. Size matters, you know what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna go back there. I'm gonna hop in there. I'm gonna kill. GoPro, but I don't want to use my battery up, and I'll see y'all at the boat ramp. I mean, you don't need to really, you don't need a backup camera at the boat ramp, but it'll be cool to see it, you know. Cool. Drop this sucker in the drink. Ah! <laughs> Here you go. Oh, bruh. First dive. First dive. Oh, well. 12 feet of water. Hey, look at that, babe. First dive, five minutes in, at least six sharks on this guy. Look, he's, a, he's at least a 25 pounder. Beautiful personal best right here, baby. That's dinner. What? Woo! Hey, this is uh, Isla Mirada 2021. Wild Man Warehouse.